In this video, I'm going to show you two window buck options when you're forming a one-sided ICF system. I'm Cody with Up to Code. Now, the product you'll see in a sec here is the Nadura One Series, but this forming technique can be used for any block company where it's Logix or Fox or Ambic, whoever has a one-sided ICF system. So it doesn't have to be Nadura, but I want to just show you the two different ways we formed it. So right off the hop, the simple, easiest way for us was a traditional wood buck. Uh, what that allows you to do is keeps it flush on the inside, Come take a look, at it's flush on the exterior as well. And for, a, this is the exterior door to a garage, but what this allows us to do is install the door here. We have nailing an easy attachment for the door. And then on the inside, we're flush here. Now, we're gonna have to have a specialized or extend the jam, and we have to case this out with trim or what we're gonna do for the overhead doors is just do some metal cladding. We'll bend this over and have a hem, and then just to hide the wood. Now, let's show you what this looked like all formed up so that you can kind of see what it looked like before we poured the concrete. You can see how the buck here was flush with the inside or right up against the form ply, and uh, we were able to fasten the exterior side, just strap it and hold it into place. We formed up option number two and poured a little sample for you. We have to, we have that in our shop. So let's just run over there and show you how we formed that, what it looks like and how it differs from this buck here. So we've got it moved into the shop here. We poured the concrete on site one day and then just moved it in here. It's a lot nicer temperature when you're shooting versus shooting in the cold winter. Um, so this is what the block and the window buck would look like all braced and formed up. So we have these straps that would hold everything in place to stop the force of concrete from blowing it out. So you have that. And then here's the form ply that we're gonna peel off. And then just to describe this to you, this is just a bulkhead to stop the concrete from flowing that way because we don't want the thing to weigh 10,000 pounds. This is the two by six that gets left in place. You can see the sill gasket that we left there that protects untreated wood that's up against concrete. And then here, um, we'll show you some photos of it when, before the concrete, but you can see that we've porcupined through this buck. The nails and the screws just overhang into the concrete so that it bonds and attaches the two by six to the wall. And then this OSB rim ply is just there to stop the concrete, gives it this nice clean edge. So let's just strip it and show you what it looks like. So there you have it folks, come take a look. Now this scenario can be used for a regular man door, a window or a overhead door. So this would be the, this is if the foam's on the exterior side and you wanna mount your door or your window here. Now you could take a two by eight and rip it down so it was the perfect dimension. I don't think you need to because the depth of your jam, as long as it's further than the wood, I don't think this needs to match the window but that's something you guys have to think about at home. But let's just say you used a regular two by six jam and it came to here. Then when you're finishing it, you could just maybe do a quarter round on the inside corner. But then if you want that exposed concrete look on your house, or your garage, then that exposed concrete comes and wraps around on the inside and then just butts up to the jam of your window or door. Same thing with an overhead door. 
you could use this same kind of setup. Um, you would have to mount your rails to the inside concrete. Um, actually, this scenario, it takes a little bit of thought for some of this stuff, because an overhead door, you could use this if you wanted to extend the jam out traditionally. Um, I guess there's pros and cons to every situation. You could go no wood, you could leave it like this, or you could leave it like version one where the wood goes all the way through. So I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, yeah, it's hard to explain everything in every scenario possible, but just two window buck options, just to give you some ideas, things to think about. You might think of your own window buck situation as well. And if you do, great, that's awesome. Maybe even throw it in the comments that, hey, I come up with an, my own idea. Um, but that's it for this video for today. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. And guys, I'm finally getting a little more organized on the channel. Make sure to check all the comments down below because I'll have links to uh, gear that we have for sale, uh, Patreon channel that we'll use to maybe, you guys can have a membership to Patreon for exclusive video content, um, some courses available, and affiliate links to just tools and equipment that we use on the daily. So just check the comments if you're interested in any of those types of links. And yeah, thanks for watching. Holy shit, is that heavy? <laughs> That's awesome.